Okay, so now I have two Akaso cameras. One of them is currently placed looking over my workbench, and the other one is currently placed over my uh, ham radio stuff and my thin client stuff. Now the cool thing is, what I really like about the uh, the clips is, well, first let me explain how I do my my workbench layout. And yeah, I know it's a mess, so don't complain. The left side of my bench is where I do all of my hardware work, my soldering, my modding, you know, that's where all the tools are, as you can tell. And on the computer side, um, I'll, I'll show you, I'll have to move the, uh, the camera around a little bit. What I can do is I can readjust this so I can give you an over-under of what I'm doing on my desk, like this. And then when it's time to come down to doing stuff with firmware, I usually leave my gizmos and my gadgets right around here on my desk. You can still see a couple of them loafing around. Right now I have my Shuttle Pro controller uh, where I normally have like you know, maybe a microcontroller or a little dev board or I just use the ample space that I have not just here but also if we pan around a little bit you'll notice that where I have my uh, my uh, power supply and my right here is a bin where I have my bus pirate, my logic analyzer, my oscilloscope probes, all of the things that you need to do in order to interface the various you know protocol buses, I2, I squared C, SPI, serial, JTAG, you name it. So then I just bring it right over here and if need be I can just take this clamp off. Let's travel over here a little bit and I can look straight down at my desk at the, uh, you know, let's say if I'm doing some firmware stuff on a router and, you know, most of the action's going on over here, I can just adjust the clamp. Or I can have this guy stare at the area where I work on thin clients, repair hard drives, and also do my ham radio stuff. And if we take a look up, we can also see all the thin clients. So if we go park the camera um, in another location, and that's why I'm really digging this clip, um, you know, we can we can get a really nice close-up shot of working on the ham radios, working on the thin clients, and even do, you know, sort of like a, a cam screener of when I'm working on, you know, various, you know, command line console stuff. I have the ability to do VGA out, down converted to S video via, the, uh, well, this box here. You know what, let me lock this camera in place. There we go. So, I have this VGA down converter it takes VGA and it spits it out to composite or S video and I have this USB capture box that captures S video and composite so I can take my thin client screen which is VGA granted you know we can't go above 800 by 600 but still when you're in console 640 by 480 installing DOS or Windows or another legacy operating system I can use that to capture uh, you know, off the thin clients. Plus, I also have an HDMI capture box, but I can't do that real time, but I'd have to mix that, you know, real time live. And again, I can easily just switch from one side of the bench. So if I'm start doing some soldering or something over there and it's time to, you know, install a new disk on module and then mod it to work with a hard drive and it's, you know, got to bring it over to the thin client side. Here we go. All right. Well, this was just a test. This, eh, this was just a test. Hopefully it worked out. The last time I did this, my USB audio was picking up a lot of horrible buzz from the um, from the USB hub that I need to use. Here I'll show you. You can see that D-Link hub right here, which is where I have all of my cameras currently plugged into. And when I have my USB, I was, I was really hoping to just leave this in the middle of my desks because wired head, a wireless headset will not work. I have to go wired, and having a wired headset in the middle of my my lab that has like a 20 foot cable would be great. But um, I was picking up a lot of noise off of this. Plus, I'm running the Acasos at their full 1,280 by 1,080, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a little bit laggy whenever I have motion. Um, it's not going to be as smooth, so I may have to bump this down to 1,280 by 720.